When you base your own identity on what others perceive, you develop this twisted version of your worth, value, and your capacity to be loved. And that's dangerous. What's the very first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning? I don't know about you, but the very first thing I do is, is I grab my phone, I check Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube. I'm always checking this stuff to see what other people are doing or what I've posted and what people have commented on my posts. Now, what's the issue with this? If you're waking up every morning, checking your phone as the first thing that you're doing, you're actually subconsciously programming your mind every single day to get into a rhythm of always checking your phone. You always have to be connected with other people and you have to be checking to see what other people are doing. Because when you go on social media, you have to be really careful because it is just so easy to just look at other people's profiles and compare yourself to them. Like I get comments on my YouTube and my Instagram, people saying to me, oh, you have the most amazing life. Your life is like a movie. Yeah, I've got a good life and everything, but I'm just like you. Like I'm just another person just living my life. For those people to be comparing themselves to me, like I almost feel bad because what anyone posts on social media is just a representation. It's just an image of what it was in that particular moment. And a lot of the time it's not even what it was. It could be highly edited. It could be fake. A lot of people post stuff on social media to make it look like they've got these amazing lives a lot of the time, people just do that because they want other people to think that they have amazing lives so that it makes them look like more desirable. Not everyone is like that, but people do need to realize that not everything they see on social media and on the internet is what it seems. When you base your own identity on what others perceive, you develop this twisted version of your worth, your value, and your capacity to be loved. And that's dangerous. So I'll tell you a quick story. So last year around October or something, it was like seven months into me starting my vlog. I would look at other YouTubers like Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat, especially Peter McKinnon actually. At that time, he had about a million subscribers when I was only at 3000 subscribers. And we both started pretty much around the same time as in posting consistently at the same time. I was thinking like, hold on, this guy's got a million subscribers and I've only got 3000 subscribers subscribers and I always go on about it's not about the subscribers or the views it's about actually loving what you do so much that it actually doesn't matter at all obviously to a certain extent subscribers and views do come into play because if no one's seeing your content it does suck <laughs> that's not to say that I would ever stop doing what I do because I don't get views or subscribers like I would definitely keep doing it but like obviously it's a good feeling to have more views and subscribers but I was thinking like he's got good content but I've also got good content how come I don't have a million subscribers how come he has it and like because my content's good, right? And I would actually question myself, question my work's self-worth. As soon as I realized that, I was like, man, I'm comparing myself to another person. This is not healthy. All this is doing is making me lose motivation, think negatively. It's making me more depressed about it and no productivity in that at all. Everyone is different. Everyone progresses at a different rate and everyone has a different path. Not everyone's path is set in stone and is the same. And as soon as I came to that realization, I was like, man, like, why am I doing this? <laughs> and then I just created more and more content and it was just better and better from there. But this doesn't just come down to work. This comes down to literally everything. Your self-image, relationships, friendships, everything to do with that. Not everyone is the same. So I'm just here to tell you that at the end of the day, there's only one you. And I'm sure you've heard this a million times, but it's actually so true. You need to be strong enough and confident enough in yourself to know that you are so amazing and you can do things that other people can't. Your mind controls everything. Physically, socially, emotionally, spiritually, your mind is what controls it all. So if you have a positive mindset and you know comparing yourself to other people is only gonna bring you down, that's when you have to realize you are you. You need to be the best version of you. And if you are the best version of you, at the end of the day, other people will probably compare themselves to you. Not saying this is a good thing, but this is just the reality. Other people will compare themselves to you. You're actually doing something. You're actually trying to become the best person possible. And you're actually spreading your wings. Unlike people who are comparing themselves constantly, doing things out of fear. People that do that are not gonna be successful and they're not gonna be as happy as what they could be if they just stopped comparing themselves to other people. All right, question of the day. Hello. Hello. 
Which country are you from? I'm from America, but I live in Australia. What is your qualification? In terms of qualifications, I'm not gonna get into everything like finishing high school and all of that, but probably the best qualification that I have is finishing uni last year, which was my Bachelor of Film. It was a three-year course done over two years and it made me a better filmmaker. If you guys found this video useful or it helped you in some sort of way, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again and I'll catch you guys next time.